This is the 14.6 guided practice. I'm going to be talking about trapezoids and kites. And I'm going to be doing the evens. All right, so for number two here, um, we know that this is side is equal to this side and that these sides are parallel. So what I would like, what I like to do is that this one looks like it's kind of on its side. So if you needed to rewrite this, you could do it like where this side is equal to this side. And then that would mean that this is angle one, this is angle two, and this is angle of 79 degrees. So the reason why we do that is because I know that the upper angles are congruent, meaning this angle and this angle, and I know that these are congruent, this angle and this angle, and that this side is, uh, sorry, not that side. This side is equal to, is parallel to that side, not equal. So putting that into practice, um, let's do blue. So I have 79 degrees uh, in this lower left. And since this is an isosceles triangle, that's going to be equal to angle 2. So angle 2 is going to be equal to 79 degrees. Now, since um, since this line would then be equal, oh, sorry, that, that's a bad line, bad line. Since that's another bad line, that's another bad line. Since this line right here is parallel to this line, that means that angle one is going to be supplementary with angle 79. So I could just call angle one, say, x, right? So then x plus 79 is equal to 180 degrees. So then x would equal 101 degrees. So um, that would mean that angle one is equal to... 101 degrees all right moving on to number four here so i know that angle one is going to be equal to angle two right and that these lines are supplementary not parallel they're supplementary so uh, angle two and angle three are going to be supplementary angle one and angle uh, and then 55 are going to be supplementary so how do i find how do i start so you're given uh 55 here at angle D, right? Well, the other base angle, angle 3, is going to be equal to the same thing because that's the base angles are congruent. Now, uh, we need to find, say, angle 1 here on this line right here. So that line right there is going to be uh, same as before in problem number 2. It's going to be, let's just call it angle 1x. So x plus 55 is equal to 180. I would minus 55 on each side. And I've got 180 minus 55 is equal to 125. So x is equal to 125. So that would mean that angle 1 is equal to 125. And then if I just erase all of this, if I know that Angle 3 is 55, and this is uh, 125. Then I know this is 125 as well, because the base angles, whether they're top or the bottom, um, angle A is going to be congruent with angle B. Not angle A, but um, you know what I mean, the top, the top angles. So that would mean angle 2 is going to be equal to 125 degrees as well. All right, for this one, um, again, watch just watch where what, what's congruent and what's parallel. Those two are parallel. So 2 and 3 are going to be congruent. 1 and 85 are going to be congruent. So you know right away angle 1 is going to be equal to 85 degrees. And then from there, what we need to do is the same as the other two. Uh, this line is going to be equal to 180 and we know that this is 85 so 85 plus measure 2 which we'll just call x is equal to 180 so then uh, x is going to be equal to 95 just check my work real quick 95 so measure 2 is equal to 95 degrees and 
if this one's 85 and this one's 95, measure 3 has to be the same as measure 2, so that's going to be 95 as well. So measure 3 is going to be equal to 95. All right, going on to 8. We all uh, have some more isosceles trapezoids here. Um, this side is equal to this side. So what I can do right away is I can find x, um, meaning this length is equal to this length. So 3x minus 3 is equal to x plus 5. Uh, 2x is equal to 8, so x is going to be equal to 4. But um, So that's all I would need to find. It just says find the values of the, of the variables, and there's only one variable, so x is just going to be equal to 4. In... 10, we see, I mean, it's given to us right away, right? This is equal to this, right? So all I have to do is 7x is equal to 2x plus 5. 5x equals 5. x would then equal 1. Uh, for 14, now this is where we get into one of the equations that we have to remember. And it's going to be 1 half times base 1 plus Base 2 is going to be equal to the mid-segment. So our mid-segment for the 14 would be AB here, right? Okay? And that's going to be 2x plus 0.75. So to set up my equation, I'm going to have 1 half, and then I'm going to add the two, uh, the two bases. So 2x minus 5.5, and then I'm going to add... The second one, which is x plus 16, and we'll set that equal to the mid-segment, which is 2x plus 0.75. So, combine like terms, I get 1 half times 3x, and then uh, what I would do is I would do 16 minus 5.5. And that would be equal to 10.5. So 3x plus 10.5 is equal to 2x plus 0.75. Okay? So then I would distribute this one half. So I'd get uh, 1.5x plus, and then I'd do 10.5 divided by 2, or times one half, I would get... 5.25 is equal to 2x plus 0.75. I'm going to bring the 1.5 over. So that's going to give me uh, 0.5x is equal to, and then I'm going to minus or subtract the 0.75 from this side. So it'll be 5.25 minus. 0.75, it's going to be 4.5, so then I'll divide 4.5 divided by 0.5, and x is going to be equal to 9. All right, another one here, uh, 16, and I'm running out of room here, so I'm going to erase what's in the middle here. But it's the same thing here. It's the same exact thing. We just got to follow our equation. So this is our mid-segment right here. So I'm going to do 1 half. And then I'll add the bases. So 8x plus 3. And then plus my 4x. And that's going to be equal to my mid-segment of 4x plus 7.5. I'm going to distribute, so that would be 4x plus 1.5 plus 2x is equal to 4x plus 7.5. Combine like terms, I'll have 6x plus 1.5 is equal to 4x plus 7.5. And then I'll bring the 4x over, so it'll be negative 4x, so it'll be 2x 
is equal to, and then I'll do 7.5 minus 1.5, which is then going to be 6. And then I'll divide, so x is going to be equal to 3. That's it. So again, just stick to this mid-segment equation. All right, find the measure of find the measures of the numbered angles in each kite. So remember, in a kite, um, if I just draw a quick kite here, I've got these lines here, right? And so, right off the bat, I know this is ninety, this is ninety, this is ninety, and this is ninety, and then this angle is equal to this angle. This angle is equal to this angle. And then the same over here. This angle is equal to this angle. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's not true. That's not true. Don't worry about this last part. Just worry about that right there, okay? So if we do, if we, knowing that, um, I know that angle 1, no matter what, it's going to be 90 degrees. So angle 1 equals 90 degrees. And then I have to find what measure 2 is. Well, I mean, if you just compare it, this to over here, you're going to know that, um, oh no, sorry, I was looking, I was thinking about this angle right here, it's too small of a figure for me, but it's given, we're given 65 here, we know this is 90 right here, so if I just have this triangle right here, if I just pull this out, this is 90, this is 65, and we don't know what this one is. So what I would do is 180 minus 90 minus 65. And I would get 25. So angle 2 is equal to 25 degrees. All right, for number 20. Um, all right, so angle 1 is going to be 90 degrees. Okay. Okay. And then angle 2 is this angle right here. And we know this is 27, and then we know that this is 90. So I would do 180 minus the 90. So again, I'm just going to pull this out. And just, just a triangle, right? So I don't know what angle 2 is. I know that this one's 90, and then this one's 27. So I need to find this one. So I do 180 minus 90 minus 27. And I would get 63. And then the same thing. If I know this is 90, here's the thing though. If this, so this is 27, and this is 27, but then this one right here is going to be equal to this angle right here. So we need to find that one. So I might have screwed up a little bit in explaining this, but. In a kite, um, this angle right here is bisected. So if that side's 27, the other side has to be 27. So I pull this right here out. I know this is 90. And then this one's 27. And then so this one would have to be 180 minus 27 minus 90. So then that would again be 63 degrees. So uh, just going back up to here, so uh, just to redo this kind of kite that I was talking about. So this right, this line right here is a bisector. So I've kind of, this is what I screwed up on in explaining it. So if I were to just draw a whole new one. So here's my kite. And then we have that line. And that line, that's a terrible line. That's another terrible line. But this angle right here is equal to this angle right here. And then this angle right here is equal to this angle right here because they're bisected. Okay? So just keep that in mind. That's what I was trying to say. All right, so if I just check my work again, so angle 1 would still be 90. Angle 2 would be 63. Angle 3 would be 63 because of these angles down here are both 27 and 27. All right, so let's uh, go on to 22. So I know that this angle is equal to this angle. 
because um, it's bisected and then angle three is the same not yeah angle three is the same as this angle right here so let's just do one angle one angle two and angle three okay so angle one we know is equal to 90 it's on the inside easy peasy right uh, i need to find angle two which is this measure right here and then angle three which is right here so i'd have to start knowing that this is also 90 i'm going to pull this triangle out if this is 90 and this is 51 i would do 180 minus 90 which is 90 and then minus 51 so that would give angle 3 to be 39 degrees so then if I wanted to plug that in, so this is, that would mean that this one would be 39. And then if this is 90, that means angle two has to be 51. So again, it's really just about pulling like the triangle out and then using what's given to find, I guess you could say the clues. All right, so which value of X is each figure uh, a kite? So um, obviously we know that these are gonna be 90 degrees. So I would just say it equal to 90. So then 84 is equal to 6x. And now we're 84. Divided by 6, we get 14. So x is equal to 16. It's the only variable that I have in there. So that means I'm all done. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Again, just remember on these kites, if I were to just erase this part right here, let's say I get just rid of this in general, um, we know all of these are 90, right? And then this angle is congruent to this angle. This angle is congruent to this angle because they're cut in half because they're because it's perpendicular bisectors. That would mean this angle is gonna be equal to this angle and this angle, four slices, one, two, three, four. Those are we congruent. This side right here is equal to this side right here. That's gonna be equal to that. And that, that's just in this case. But again, use what you are given. If you have any questions, let me know. All right, thanks.